Hey everyone, Jay with Mobile Home Partners here making another video for you. Titles, bill of sales, paperwork, documents. Alright, so a lot of questions on that. Something definitely everybody needs to know how to properly not just fill this paperwork out, but what to look for. Okay, so figured I'll make a video on here. Here's a couple examples now. Bear with me, these titles are old, <laughs> so I have to use these for now, but um Every state is a little different, but for the most part, this is what you're looking for. Now, granted, and uh, keep in mind, if you are working with a single wide, you have one title. If you're working with a double wide, there should be two titles. Now, there are some counties, some cities that are starting to combine, so you'll actually see that on one title, and the VIN will actually state, you know, the letters, numbers, what, what you normally see in a VIN number, and it may say... Um, a and B, meaning A side, B side, two different sides, but double wise, two titles, keep that in mind, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get started in here, and title, if you are purchasing a mobile home, much like a car, you need to get a title. I don't have it is not a good answer from a seller, okay? Why don't you have it, Mr. Seller? Uh, there's ways to get that, we're not going to go into that detail. Uh, message me if you want me to make a video on how to get a title replacement, etc. But uh, right now we're just focusing on filling this out. So this is the title that they will present you with, okay? Now I'm going to try to use my pen here, see, hopefully you can see it. But all right, so basic details and as details you need to know, you start from the top down. You know, on the top, vehicle identification. So that is the VIN number. VIN, same like a car, it's got a VIN number. I got other videos of where you can find that. You need to be able to compare this to the home and make sure that this title belongs to that home, okay? Last thing you wanna do is buy a home and get a title that belongs to a Ford pickup. It's not gonna work, okay? So if you can see my pen, I'm actually highlighting up here. That's where identification, okay? Next to that, you got make, okay? What is the make of this? You wanna make sure it has the number on that as well. Next to that, the year. The year, obviously, that the home was actually built. That is what you're going to see there, okay? So, all these are already pre-filled, you know, with the titles. It's not something that the owner is going to fill out. So, you just need to make sure, and basically, you're just comparing. Comparing to this matches the home. That's all, okay? Uh, type of body, make, again. Um, cylinder, of course, you see a number there. But, disregard that. That's, you know, this was actually to a vehicle. So, obviously, a mobile home would have nothing. Okay, state issued, of course, you know, and again, this is a Georgia title, so other states may look a little different, but all right, so this top line here, as you can see, you know, again, I'm trying to highlight with my little pen here, but this is basically where it states what the home is, year, make, model, identification, etc. Let's lower down a little bit more too, okay? Owner, obviously you want to make sure that the owner's name is on there or whoever it is that the owner is on there. You know, if the gentleman that lives there wants to sell it but the title is under his, his mom's name, that's fine. As long as the mom is there to sign for this, we're all good. Okay, so check on that. That would be right here. This right here, it is huge. Okay, I cannot stress this one enough. All right, liens. This is where you see a lien written. Okay, this area right here. If this lien, if there is a lien here, bank, credit union, whatever, is on here, and they are not signed off down here, it has not been signed off, this title, this home, has that lien. For how much? I don't know. Your guess is good as mine, okay? Now, I'll take this one step further, because even if there's signatures here or whatnot, I'll call the city, county, tax access, or some, you can, some cities you can call DMV, and give them the VIN number, give them the year make model of the home, and they can actually pull up and see if there's lien, liens on this title as well. I do that. I, I like to see that I sign off right here if there was one, but I'm gonna double check anyway, okay? Be better safe than sorry, okay? Good space for that one. So, so definitely huge on this. If there is any written on here and it's not signed on here, you want explanations and you wanna find out, but either way, you wanna know if there's any liens or not within the the county so call, call them call the county figure it out okay backside so this is what the back of a title looks like okay here is where the transfer sellers if you can see my pin here that's where they need to print their name print on this side right under it they need to sell uh, I'm, I'm sorry they need to sign 
okay so print on top sign on bottom you don't need to go down here stay on this section right here okay to the right of that this is where you the buyer you're going to do the same thing you're going to print your name you're going to sign your name and then you need to date it top right corner date it right here okay purchase of legal i usually don't fill this section out and, and i'll explain why i mean you can uh my city county has never actually asked me why i have not and i actually have not seen them fill it out for me so i don't as long as these two are filled we're fine dated but i do ask for a bill of sale always that there's no excuse around that especially if you're buying from a corporation or an llc uh, the county most counties will require that you also bring a bill of sale the only times i've had where they didn't care for the bill of sale was where i bought from a direct individual his name was on the title and it was just a person so they didn't focus too much on that okay so bill of sales looks like this okay this is an actual mobile home bill of sale that needs to go with your title whether you're selling or you're buying you need to be turning one of these in with it okay and pretty simple i'll go ahead and explain how to fill this one out pretty self-explanatory i like to think but on top in the consideration of the sum of two thousand three thousand four thousand whatever thousand whatever you decide to buy or sell it for that's what gets written on there okay u.s dollars paid by you put the address okay now this would be if you look under that line with the mailing address of here known as the buyer so if you're the buyer you put the amount of money you're buying it for you put your address on there you put your name on there and then the seller puts his his or her address on there puts his or her name on there and we move forward okay the following describes mobile home manufacturer here basically you're putting the same thing that is on the title okay pretty simple you just copy the information manufacturer the model serial number same as a, as a VIN number to, to clarify on that size of the home now the size of the home will not be on the title I've, I've yet to see size of any home on the title so that is something that you can get from the county records or the owner might have paperwork enough to show worst case scenario measure it <laughs> we've had to do that so okay year same thing continue to fill in from the title the year that the home was built put it on there the current location of the home so this is where you want to put where the actual home is at if it has a specific address but different lot make sure you notate that on here okay if you go to the bottom here seller certifies that they are no legal and true owner of the mobile home the mobile home is to be sold as is condition with the following conditions so let's pretend you are the seller here okay and you're basically this selling this home as is you're not going to fix anything you're not guaranteeing anything i'm going to write that down here no warranties okay and i circle as is meaning you bought you're buying this from me in the condition that is in and i do not guarantee it anything there's no warranties here okay you're buying it as is okay now if you're the buyer and the seller is giving you this you want to make sure that anything that is agreed upon uh, could be washer and dryer to stay in the home could be all anything special really this is a perfect section for it okay uh, i mean i've seen a homeowner to mow the grass one last time prior to <laughs> turning the home in per se anything basically is here's where you notate it okay because this will come up if for whatever reason it goes into a legal rights you have this paperwork filled by both yourself and the buyer or seller and therefore you can take action upon okay backside <clears throat> this is what it looks like okay in witness whereof the buyer and seller agree to the terms of this bill of sale on the i would just use today's date on the 8th day of may 2020 obviously okay let my vision 2020 <laughs> buyer signature buyer's print and date under that seller signature seller's print and date under that here's where you want a third party third individual okay third individual that should be observing this deal anyway because if you're not conducting this at a tax accessor's office dmv or wherever it's publicly that you should if you're actually closing on this home at their home or your home okay you need to have a third person as a witness 
and they need to sign off right here. Witness signature, witness print, and their date. Okay? Now, let me add to that. So, this here is a very basic mobile home bill of sale. I mean, these you can get from any real estate uh, company. You can purchase them, I think, online. You can go to law. I, I cannot recall the site, but there's nothing special here. This is just a basic bill of sale. Okay? So, if you have any more questions on these titles, uh, you know, I cannot stress enough, do not buy a mobile home that does not have a title. It, it, there's too many risks that come with it, especially if you're just starting out and the seller talks they don't have a title, walk away. I assure you, you'll thank yourself later. Okay? All right. I think that concludes the video here. So, any other questions? Uh, you know, I, I love taking questions. I love making videos like these. We expect to make a lot more of these to come. So definitely stay tuned. Follow our channel. Uh, go to our website, mobilehomepartner.com. From there, you can visit all of our links, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube. There's, you know, all of them are listed on there. So follow us. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned. All right. Until next time, thank you for watching.